Good morning. Good morning. What is the name of your Sunday school class and what are you studying? It's Life well, Search. It's Life Search. <laughs> We're studying Song of Solomon this time. And what brings you back to Sunday school each Sunday? I think it's the friendship of the, my fellow classmates and you know the just the feeling of uh, camaraderie and even love I guess uh, it's just total acceptance and as well as of course the study you know we, we study the Bible but we also study books and uh, uh, both Don and I just really love coming to class. LB how has uh, Sunday school deepened your faith and love for God and love for your fellow man? Well through uh, discussion in small groups I find that uh, where two or more gather Jesus is there and in our discussion we it's it's fairly intimately spiritual and it, it causes me to think about it through the week and and you know over the years it's been a, a wonderful experience because the small discussions is like uh, our small groups is like the way the church began and sharing intimately your spiritual thoughts with each other uh, helps me grow in faith and it's just been a real blessing. Gloria, uh, why would you recommend this class to others? Because this is a class that I come to um, renewed, refreshed. After the church, there's a little, I mean, people that come to our class, their fellowship there, we all believe in one God. Not only Bible study, but we share joys and concerns. And it is Christian sisters and brothers gathered together, and um, it's kind of therapeutic, <laughs> if you want to say. Amen. It's therapeutic. Um, it's good to know that all the good people who believe in God, that we can share the stories without judgmental ways. And uh, we learn, and we're going to bring those to others. What we learn here with people, uh, we're to share those with others that we see in workplaces, what have you. Um, we are the people that who carries the torches and I think we should do that. And this really deepens those kind of way to understand other people when they come to you and say this is what's happening and we can talk about it and it gives a variety of reasons but I would not miss it for the, I mean we're all after church, Bible study, I'm ready to go for another week of whatever it brings in. So, I'm renewed by it. John, what are some of the books that we uh, have been studying in the past year? Well, uh, a couple of my favorites were, uh, we did one called The Five Love Languages, which was mm -hmm. just uh, just tremendous, really <laughs> yes. life-changing, yes. I think, book. I think it, it should be required reading <laughs> for everybody. And uh, a while back we did The Shack, that was also a great book. And LB, have, have we studied any books of the Bible directly? Yes, uh, we were in John at a critical, or a, at a uh, a good time of the year. The Gospel of John. It was during the uh, celebration of Easter last year, and I remember it. It was really inspiring to to gather the information of the Gospel of John, and how you know Jesus was crucified, died, and buried, and the reading just coincided with the time that we celebrated his birth. I mean his uh, death, resurrection. And it was uh, very, uh, very inspirational. So the Gospel of John was good. We did Romans here recently, mm -hmm. and it helped us understand how the church began in the small groups. And mm -hmm. you know, uh, we just grow spiritually from the reading. And and John, do you think that that Sunday school is necessary for uh, uh, a Christian to deepen his faith and to develop relationships with both God and his fellow man? Well, I think it certainly helps. You know, for a long time I didn't go to Sunday school. I was a member here a long time before I started to come to Sunday school. And I don't know why uh, it, it took a long time for me to start, but, but I'm sure glad I did because I've been attending Sunday school now for about, I think, nine years. And uh, I've been a member here, gosh, you know what, it's 30 years this year. Oh, boy. And, uh, so, yeah, Sunday school just broadens the experience and really deepens your relationship with the people at the church, and then I think that facilitates your relationship with Christ. Any of you have any closing comments or closing remarks? 
I think everybody should come and join us one day. Just stop by and see what we're studying and what is this all about. And um, welcome. You know, welcome, anyone. Our class is like Cypress Creek, I think. It we're is. very inclusive. Nobody, <laughs> Nobody's excluded. Yeah. Uh, everybody's welcome. Yeah. We find interesting stories of all the people who's, who are there, all the walks of life, and we share stories, and it's really a good place yeah. to be. It's a good place good. to, Absolutely. sometimes, you know, like, like Gloria said, it's therapy. It's a good mm -hmm. place to maybe unload your troubles yes. and, yes. and just leave them behind. Yes. And we learn to love unconditionally each other mm -hmm. and practice yeah. that. You know, it's hard to, in the world, love your neighbor as yourself, you know. Mm -hmm. But you learn to do that in relationships in Sunday school class. Mm -hmm. So come join us or any other adult education class. You'll be hearing more from other classes in following weeks. Thank you. Take care. Thank you.